job uh, requires a lot of patience. <laughs> it's gonna sedate you <laughs> completely. Look at that beauty. I never planned that sunflower before. Beautiful. So let's see how many seeds we got. Hmm. Not many, huh? But that's good enough for one container. Got the 13 sunflower. Start growing. I can separate then. I can use this. <laughs> and separate then and then get it out of there into the garden. I had lettuce here before. You see a soil like looking like this in your plants, that's when you add water. If it looks like this, don't add water yet. Give them a break because too much water can kill your plants too. That's the difference. You have to keep checking on your plants all the time. So let's go with the other ones. I planted this one before. Look how beautiful it is. The Velvet Queen. They're getting so big so fast. <laughs> This potato used all, almost all the energy to grow this shoot and it's not gonna develop as well because once you put it in the ground, first of all, you're gonna have to go so deep or sideways that it could break. And then that potato, I don't see any other, more energy in the potato to create another shoot and give you a plant. So these potatoes, I'm gonna end up throwing them away. I see another one here, like this one is fine. This one is perfectly fine because this is small and that's gonna continue growing. But this, this doesn't work. So probably it's gonna rot in the ground if I put it in the ground and this is gonna end up dying. And these ones are not too bad. I can get some of these ones. See, this is good. I can cut this in half, but I don't do that because you see all those shoots, all those eyes is gonna grow a plant uh, the way it is. There's a hundred plants of cucumbers here, 50 of each variety. I'm gonna add a little bit of dust of soil and add water and put it in there. My sunflowers are starting to come out. Those are my morning glories, like as you saw. So I already have some of the flowers started. I got my peppers, my tomatoes, my herbs, I put it on top. I've been using that for cooking and salads. And here, this takes 110 days to mature. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start my butternut squash now. That way by the end of June, I can have butternut squash. The left kill that I have been using, but I'm not gonna use this anymore. So I'm gonna give it to my goats. So nothing goes to waste. I'm gonna let it drain down a little bit to make sure that the seeds doesn't come out to the surface. Sometimes that happen. I'm gonna let it drain for a little bit. And just wanna show you this tiny thing there. See that? <laughs> That's a small flower coming out. It's so wonderful.